of summer DIY that you can do at home. If you really like this, please comment down below so I know and I can do more of these. And please subscribe and like my video. If we can get this video to about 30 likes, there will be a giveaway in my next video. And I will be giving away all the materials that you see in this video that you can use for your DIY. Okay, hmm, Henriette, well the flowers in your video are real. Yes, I will be then sending you fake flowers from like blanking out, Pinterest and Tumblr. And I will be posting there and um, comment down below if you want me to make a Snapchat for this YouTube channel so that you can get behind the scene clips, almost like a vlog. And yeah, without further ado, let's hop right into the summer DIY video. <laughs> So your materials for this project are actually super simple. You need some rocks, small or big, doesn't matter. You need to know what size you want for the size of your cup. Next, you want to have some bark, um, some brown that adds really nicely to your combination with rocks. And it looks really nice and foresty, so that's great. Next, you want something colorful, so like fake berries and some fake pink flowers because I love pink so these are great too. So these are all your materials and yeah you don't need to use the colors I use but you can if you want. Next you want some rocks as your base and this is a really great base because it adds this total classic feel and they look really nice and simple when you add your flowers. Next, you will place the wood or the bark, whatever you're using, over the stones in your glass cup so that it looks a little bit more foresty and you have that cozy feel, which is really nice under the flowers. Now we are starting to fix the flowers so that they fit right on top of the bark very, very nicely. Since I'm using real flowers, I want to cut off anything that's dry off these red little berries so that they look presentable. And um, now you want to cut the stem a little bit shorter so that they're not really long and hanging out of your cup that really doesn't look good at all. So yeah, you want to do that. Now go ahead and place your berries or whatever you are using in your cup and you can design it however you want. I like putting them on a side like a little bit of a lean on for the flowers and it looks really nice when you add the pink because it, it's not all over the place. For your final step in this terrarium, you're going to place your flowers wherever you would like so that you add a really cute design and yep, yeah, place them next to your little berries and look really cute. This is the finished product and it looks super cute and it's great to throw on a dresser and I really like it. It adds some color into my room and I used to not have that, so this is great. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching this DIY. I hope you enjoyed it. Comment down below if you want more of these and you like them. And also send me a picture if you tried this out at home and it looked good and it worked out for you and you really liked it. I would love to see it. And yeah, make sure to follow me on Instagram, VS Co, um, Pinterest, and Tumblr. I always post pictures on there. And comment down below if you want me to make a Snapchat for this YouTube video account. Yeah, channel. Because I really would love to and give you guys like vlogs of what I do like during the day when I'm not filming or when I'm not updating and stuff like that. But anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you next time on my channel. See you later. Bye.